Uh, let's jump in, uh, talk about J.K. Rawlins. So uh, as, you, as you probably know, J.K. Rawlins, um, ha, 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 attempts have been made over the last few years to cancel J.K. Rawlins because of things she said about transgender. Uh, it, you know, it, there are places in, um, in our culture, there are places in Hollywood, there are places uh, among, among, I'd say, the, the cultural elites where J.K. Rawlins' name is unmentionable. He, uh, she, whose name should not be mentioned, if you remember, that's how, uh, that was Voldemort, he who's, uh, who should not be mentioned, uh, Voldemort, well, she was treated, she got the Voldemort treatment, um, uh, and uh, any affiliation with her was uh, dramatically criticized. So it came as a little bit of a surprise when um, the new, I guess, Times Warner streaming service called Max, uh, which includes HBO and a bunch of other stuff, announced, uh, I guess, over the weekend or late last week, that they had just signed a deal uh, to bring Harry Potter uh, a, a, to, uh, to the network uh, and uh, to do a, a decades-long deal where, I guess, every season will be a book. So they will, they will do a, a long-form treatment of Harry Potter, not just, uh, not just uh, you know, the movie treatment, but actually do a TV series uh, a lot of money is going to be put into this. It's uh, a lot of talent is going to be poured into this. This is uh, Max, which is the new name of the streaming service, which includes, as I said, as I said HBO. Um, this is going to be their flagship, and uh, this is going to be a big deal. Now, I, for one, as a fan of Harry Potter's original books, am looking forward to this. This will be fun. It'll be a fun series. It'll be a fun show. I, if it's, I, I, I'm sure it'll be well done. Uh, HBO, as we know, has a record of, of producing, uh, producing really uh, uh, amazing uh, TV shows and with today's special effects and everything else, this will be a lot of fun. This, this, will, be, this will be great visually and, and the story, of course, is, is, is fun. It's, it's really good. Um, but what was surprising to people is not that they are doing this. What's surprising to people that uh, J.K. Rowling was actually listed as an executive producer on the show. And many people out there, and the internet is going nuts around this. Many people out there are shocked, dismayed, upset. How could this woman be allowed to be an executive director? She is banned. She is uh, she is canceled. Um, and uh, and there's a lot of a lot of stuff, you know, on Twitter, on social media, in in uh, kind of among the cultural elites, in terms of how dare how dare she uh, uh, she make this uh, she make this statement. So it's it's good to see. J.K. Rollins being uncanceled, but I thought I'd take the opportunity um, of this to, to actually go back and look at what did J.K. Rollins actually say? What, how did she upset people so much? What did she actually say to get herself canceled in the first place? So I found an article called um, A Complete Breakdown of J.K. Rollins' Transgender Comments Controversy in Glamour Magazine, which is uh, very much, um, uh, very much um, uh, a... Um, you know, anti uh, J.K. Rollins and, and very much seem to support her cancellation. So I figured they would bring out the worst stuff, um, uh, the worst stuff uh, that J.K. Rollins has written. Uh, unfortunately, they're not really presenting this in a format. Once again, let me just switch formats because the format is not, doesn't make it easy for me. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Uh, visit source site. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. So I thought I'd read you some of the tweets that got um, J.K. Rollins into deep water and, and, and canceled and, and being called a, a, a transphobe and anti-trans and, and, and everything else. And uh, so let's see if we can find this stuff. Um, God, why is it making it so difficult? It wasn't difficult a minute ago. All right, we'll get there. All right, we'll get there. Uh, as this page loads very, very slowly. It's like it's per, it, it really it's like it's like it's as if this website does not want me does not want me to uh, actually uh, have access to this uh, to this story. Okay, so let's let's give it a, let's give it a little bit. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, uh, Time Warner is standing by J.K. Rollins. Uh, they they uh, uh, they are not withdrawing. They've been challenged. They've said, oh no no, we've had a productive, amazing relationship with J.K. Rollins for. For a very long time, we have no intention of uh, uh, moving away from this relationship, and uh, we expect to uh, continue uh, to work with J.K. Rollins, and she's definitely part of this program. All right, so what did she say? 
this is a tweet from June 6, 2020, uh, part of, uh, and she's commenting on, a, on an article that basically says, uh, look, the, 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 well, I mean, uh, an article that refers to non-trans women, regular women, women, as people who menstruate. <laughs> so J.K. Rollins wrote, in quotes, people who menstruate, I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Wumben, wumpund, wummud. <laughs> um, that got in deep trouble. It's like uh, women who menstruate, people who menstruate are women. And, uh, but you can't do that because women include now, the concept of women supposedly has to include trans women. And trans women don't menstruate. So you can't have a concept. So what is she standing up for? She's standing up for a, a, a traditional, a, a traditional, a science-based um, uh, uh, traditional definition of women and, and rejecting the idea that we need some extra concept like to define original women as, she got canceled because of this stuff. Here's another one. Uh, this is J.K. Wallens. And, and look, J.K. Wallens, just to be clear, J.K. Wallens a leftist. She's certainly left of center on economic issues. She's, uh, she's left of center on pretty, um, almost all social issues. She's considered a, a radical feminist. She is, um, a, you know, on, on a, almost every cultural issue, she's on the left. Um, I'm sure she, but she's a darling of the conservatives over trans stuff. Uh, she, this is what she wrote. If sex isn't real, there's no same-sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. That's pretty good. You have to admit that's pretty good. She's, she, 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 you know, is, is claiming that sex is real, that that is truth. And she's doing it from the perspective also of a, uh, of a, get a lesbian, somebody who has same-sex attraction. Well, what does same-sex attraction mean if there's no such thing as sex? I mean, there is a big conflict between, uh, you know, generally homosexuality, homosexuals and the trans movement over what does it mean to be a lesbian? She continued that tweet by saying, the idea that a woman like me who've been emphatic to trans people for decades. Em sorry, <laughs> emphatic. God, I can't read sometimes. The idea that women like me who've been empathetic to trans people for decades, feeling kinship, whoops, what did I do? Right. Sorry, feeling kinship because they're vul vulnerable in the same way as women, i.e. to male violence. Quote, hate trans people because they think sex is real and has lived consequences is nonsense. Again, absolutely true, just true. She's just saying there's such a thing as sex. A trans woman is not a woman. She can be a trans woman if she wants. Don't have a problem with that, but she's not a woman. Different experience, different biology, different reality. And she continues. I respect every trans person's right to live any way they feel authentic and comfortable to them. I'd march with you if you were discriminated against on the basis of being trans. At the same time, my life is being shaped by being female. I do not believe it's hateful to say so. This is stuff that gets you, I mean, these, these crazy trans activists, this is stuff that gets you um, uh, canceled. Um, all right, uh, this just one second. My super chat just crashed on me. I'm trying to get it back going. Uh, let's see if it'll work. Yeah, I think that works. Um, she continues. Um, well, not she continues. It's a different tweet, this one, but again from 2020. I've never felt as shouted down, ignored, and targeted as a lesbian within our supposed GLBT community, as I have over the past couple of years. That is, her comments on trans uh, 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 are what have, has really made her feel shut it down, canceled. Um, 
this is what uh, Andrew James Carter uh, wrote. I guess he's a, he's a, a trans activist. Since J.K. Rollins has blocked any reply to this litany of half-truths and transphobic dog whistles, I thought I'd catalog them properly here, and then he goes on for, w with all this, but transphobic dog whistles. Transphobic? What was transphobic about what she wrote? There's just, uh, uh, Paris Lee says, there's just no evidence that me being me is causing problems for any other woman. If there are any problems, and you know, just I, there's no point. I wanted to I wanted to read you the stuff from J.K. Rollins, not so much from all of these. Then, of course, I don't know if you know, but uh, uh, Radcliffe and uh, Emma Thompson, Watson, and uh, a bunch of uh, people affiliated with uh, with um, uh, you know with uh, a bunch of people affiliated with uh, the Harry Potter. Uh, the Harry Potter stuff, um, all have, 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 have ranted against uh, J.K. Rollins. Uh, J.K. Rollins. In, um, on July 5th, 2020, J.K. Rollins again on Twitter. I've ignored fake tweets attributing to me. Oh, God, what is going on? I've ignored fake tweets attributing to me. Um, and R. Ted widely, I've ignored porn tweeted at children. On a tweet about their art, I've ignored death and rape threats. I'm not going to ignore this. Uh, and she goes, when you lie about what I believe about mental health medication, and when you misrepresent the views of a trans woman for whom I feel nothing but admiration or solidarity, you cross the line. She's defending here a friend of hers who's trans. Many health professionals are concerned about young people struggling with their mental health are being shunted towards hormones and surgery when this may not be in their best interest. Many, myself included, believe we are watching a new kind of conversion therapy for young gay people who are being set on a lifelong path of medication that may result in their loss of their fertility and or, or for sexual function. As I've said many times, transition may be the answer for some. For others, it won't. Witness the accounts of detransitioners. The system sees surgery as the easy fix to goals who do not conform, right? And, you know, she goes on. I actually found, uh, there's an essay, uh, I think I did a show about this a while back. There's an essay that uh, J.K. Rollins uh, wrote about the whole trans phenomena, uh, the whole trans issue. I thought the essay was quite good. Um, I encourage you to look it up. I encourage you to look at her tweets. I think she's actually one of the more thoughtful people writing about uh, the trans issue. Um, out there, and and again, all of that thoughtful writing has managed to get her canceled. But it's good to see her being uncanceled and back. Uh, and I look forward to watching Harry Potter on Max when it comes out, probably in a year or two. Um, that'll be a lot. That'll be a lot of fun. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.